Good morning, YouTube. Louie here with the best silver gold deals of Thursday, September 19th, 2024. Post FOMC, 50 basis point rate cut. Yep, everybody got what they wanted. And let's see what it did to the markets. We have got gold up uh, 3120 to 2590 this morning and silver up a dollar 11. I haven't seen that big a move in a long time up to 3115. That's about a two month high on silver. Uh, let's see the GSR. It decided to go lower and here it is at uh, 82.98. Going to make its way back down to 76 maybe. Okay, in the 10-year. Now, the 10-year not cooperating as much. The 10-year up uh, 0 0.013, and that's probably because as the Fed gets more aggressive in cutting rates, the long end gets a little worried about inflation, about him uh, moving those rates out, down too fast and too much. So the 10-year may have plateaued here around 3.7, may not go any lower. Okay, and the dollar is at 100.597, off a third of a percent. So the dollar uh, is uh, going down uh, w along with yesterday's cut, not exactly tracking today's 10-year yield. But uh, we've got a lower dollar, and we know that's good for metals right okay and on the industrial side what's going on with copper whoa copper up six cents look at it breaking out to 4.29 4.30 uh, the commodity trade looks like it is back on guys you may want to pick up some commodities if you haven't already done so all right in the economic calendars well yesterday was the big day uh, today we have initial jobless claims. Okay, let's see what that does to the market. Uh, hopefully they are um, high and uh, showing weak labor market because that is what the Fed is betting on now. Labor market uh, showing some signs of cracking, although uh, everything's uh, perfect in their eyes and they think they're right on track. Uh, lowering 50 basis points and then being data dependent uh, going forward. But clearly their path is to lower rates and higher jobless claims will accommodate that path. Lower rates, lower dollar, and probably means higher metal prices. Yeah, you like that. Okay, in the pre-market, we are in the fear greed index of greed at 57. This is amazing. Uh, the Dow is up 496, the S&P up 92, and the NASDAQ up 407. Wow, glad I wasn't short because I was thinking about it. All right, in the deals, uh, let's get going. I had to get up early this morning because I'm going fishing today. Going to try to catch uh, some catfish and some bass. Got some new bait. Okay, I'm doing hot dogs uh, soaked in garlic, and I'm also doing uh, mackerel uh, sprayed with Pam. Okay, let's see if that works for those catfishies. All right, a lot of the links changed here. A lot of deals sold out overnight. One-tenth Gold Eagle best price is at, drumroll, please, Bold Precious Metals this morning. And it is $291. Yeah, I know. Uh, but still not over $2,600 on uh, Gold Spot. Clearly moving to new highs. Uh, the Gold Maple one-tenth ounce is thinking about it come on gold maple that is liberty coin why does this happen okay and that is at uh, looks like uh, 285 for a one tenth ounce gold maple looking to a one tenth britannia that is liberty coin 271 to a one tenth philharmonic that is monument metals 284 a one quarter ounce gold eagle is at bold. Just went out of stock. Sorry about that, guys. They're buying up the eagles this morning. A one quarter ounce Britannia is at Liberty. Liberty has some of the best prices. Do do take a look at their prices before you go somewhere else. And uh, six eighty six on a quarter ounce uh, gold Britannia. How about a half ounce gold eagle? Is that sold out now too? Wow, I don't know why this internet moves so slow sometimes. That is at Bullion Exchanges, and the price is $1,377. We have a one half ounce gold maple at Monument Metals, $1,387. We've got a one ounce gold eagle up at Bullion Exchanges. That is 
2670 good price i guess um and a buffalo at oh my gosh come on think about it think about it bgasc and that is 2679 for a gold buffalo and a gold maple is one ounce gold maple bullion exchanges is 2624 however it is up on costco i already did an alert uh, if you're new to my videos um, the website i run is bestsilvergolddeals.com if you're subscribed there it's totally free you can uh, get alerts uh, and i sent out the costco alert this morning 2619 for gold maples and then you get a four percent rebate on that and that is going to put you under spot on a maple you know, it's not an eagle or a buffalo, but pretty damn good deal. That's all I saw up on Costco this morning. One ounce gold Britannia is, but you can't beat that Costco deal, 2,617. Although some of you heavy hitters have maxed out your discounts, so uh, then you got to go back to the wild. Maybe uh, use some uh, hot dog soaked in garlic to find your gold. Okay, we got a Kruger and the cheapest of the sovereign gold, and why pay more? I don't know. If you're not buying an eagle, maybe you just want to get this. 2607. While you're thinking about it, give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing here. The Corona is right around spot. Here's a $10 discount code to save you just a little bit more. I'm going to skip the 20 franc. It's getting kind of pricey, and I'm going to go right to the golden assay. I like these divisible bars here, this combo bar deal um, and it is very reasonable at 2638 you're going to get 10 divisible uh, one tenth gold bars there for the zombie apocalypse but if you're just looking for straight up gold bullion exchanges has gold in assay at 2636 about 40 50 bucks over spot platinum eagle this morning is uh, platinum going back up i think uh, let's see if it gets back through a thousand and keeps moving higher. Uh, the Platinum Eagle, 1,146. Those are collector coins. I'm going to skip the rest of the Platinum and the Palladium this morning. One Silver Eagle at spot, remainder of the tube, cheapest at Slow Website. Silver Gold Bowl at. They're all working on their websites, changing all their prices probably. My God, will it finally come up? Well, it's about 35 bucks, right? Oh, 35.75 went up in the last few minutes. 35.75 any quantity pricing, but get on over to Pinehurst where you can find a tube of 20 priced at uh 35.05, 70 cents cheaper and we'll find it cheaper on eBay too, I think. Okay, the US Mint has made me a liar and they have just uh, posted new production for September and isn't it interesting when silver spikes when prices spike, that's when they release their production. I think there's some kind of an accounting thing going on there for revenue recognition. Anyway, they put 1.6 million uh, eagles in the hopper in September, so I guess they're not going into allocation like I thought they might be. All right, I already told you about the flowing hair silver metal. Okay, the silver metal, gold coin. I don't know why they do that. Personally, I don't think it matters at all if it's a metal or a coin. What matters is the mintage, okay? and the price and the mintage will likely be high and the price will likely be high so there may not be any opportunity there my green light is still on at 31 and change uh we're going to test 3250 here it looks like um so uh yeah i'm just going to leave that green light on i'm glad i did hopefully you bought on the dips yesterday remember i told you there'd be a lot of volatility and use the dips to your advantage and today boy is it paying off if you did that but a lot of people just got angry, right? Yeah, I know. It's frustrating. Okay, we got a maple at Bullion Exchanges at, uh, oh my gosh, 33.44 for a maple. One at spot there as, as well. We got a kangaroo at 33.53, same place. We got a Britannia at Golden Eagle Coin, good price, 33.30. And we got a Philharmonic, probably the cheapest of the sovereign silver at uh, 32.54 remember when those were 29 just a week or two ago wow what a move like a 10 percent move in a couple weeks something like that okay here is the gold maple that should still be up but you guys are stalking these deals now because uh looks like we aren't going to get a break for lower prices here 
And the maple is up, buddy. Okay, 2,619, 4% off. You get a 2% credit card rebate if you have the Wells Fargo credit card, which I recommend. And then you get a 2% executive club membership rebate. Comes at the beginning of the year, uh, giving you uh, 4% of 2,600, over $100 off on that. You'll be so far under spot, you will be gasping for air. And you could sell that today if you wanted to. Nothing else up that I know about. Uh, junk is getting more expensive really quickly. Uh, here we've got uh, these Kennedy halves at 23.19 times face. The Walkers are 23.75. And the Mercs are only about 24. So if I had to pick today, I would buy the Mercs if I had a gun to my head and I was buying this morning. Uh, the 10 ounce bars, let's see how cheap this one is. Uh, 330 for a Horaeus bar. Okay, and moving on to the Silvertown, I mean this uh, random bar, 322 now for a brand new uh, random bar from Golden Eagle. Uh, the Buffaloes are, did we have a deal on these? What happened to Kazoo Bullion, by the way? I got to check their prices. Uh, Pinehurst Coins has got a 2 by 20 at 32.37. Let's get over to Kazoo really quickly. I haven't checked their Buffaloes in a while. I've been asleep at the switch there. So uh, let's see what they're selling uh, Buffaloes for. Uh, let's see, Silver, Buffalo. I don't think they can beat 32 bucks. And there it is. And they get this $5 off coupon that always pops up. Oh my God, go away. Okay. Um, yeah, $32.75. Not a bad price. $32.70. $32.65 for a tube of 20. So I may have to put Kazoo back in the rotation. Okay. And let's get on to eBay and see how cheap we can find Eagles. When you use eBay, I recommend the PayPal credit card or the American Express credit card through PayPal. All right, and we got the Culls at about uh, 34 out the door, and we got the BUs at about 34 out the door. Uh, so uh, what was that price over at uh, Pinehurst? Can 34, were we cheaper than 34? Um, Let's see. Pinehurst is 35. Oh, you're going to save a dollar on eBay this morning. Uh, check that seller out. Make sure it's what you want, who you want. Could pay a little bit more for a better seller. Okay. Uh, like I said, uh, moving on. Uh, did I get to eBay? Come on. Get back to where you were. Okay. Uh, tube of Maples. Tube of Maples, 855. Tube of Britannia's on eBay, 850. Tube of Kangaroos is eight fifty three, and a tube of uh, Krugerrands is eight fifty five. Well, eight fifty is about the cheapest we're gonna. So let's do the math. Eight fifty times four, so that is uh, thirty four bucks a coin, and then times point nine seven with a good credit card, and you're gonna be out the door at thirty two ninety eight. Okay. So they're all about uh, 33 bucks there on eBay. And not a bad deal. How about junk? Can we get that cheaper than 23 times face, for God's sakes? Uh, this is going to be uh, 22.80 free shipping in stock, fair seller. Uh, so 22.9, and then take 3% uh, off. You'd be we'd be right around 22 times face. So eBay, they have not adjusted their prices, guys. I uh, may want to get over there. I'm doing these uh, this video very early this morning because i got to get my stuff together for the fishing trip. Okay, uh, you know I like the Carson Cities. The Libertads are just going to be out of sight now probably. Uh, hopefully you bought those when they were cheaper. Nine eighty two for a tube of Libs. And cheapest 10-ounce bar on eBay is going to be uh, yeah, probably about three twenty. That That'll be a good price. All right, and if you're looking for the Kilo Kook, have they kept that cheap? It's back to 1080. And uh, cheapest kilo overall will be over a thousand bucks for sure. 1064, take 30 bucks off, you'd be at 1034 on a kilo. Let's do the math. Uh, 1034 divided by, do you know the number? 32.15. That's another number you need to remember. 
All right, 3216 for a kilo. What the hell? Oh my god, spot is just flying. All right, well, uh, let's do the large lot. Uh, maybe that price hasn't changed. 3250, about 3150 out the door, which is uh, right around spot this morning. Uh, two to 20, be a hair more. I like these uh, samurai bars. Um, let's just move on to 100 ounce bar. I showed you how to melt them, right? Melt them, cast your own if you want to do that. Uh, well, I can give you any tips you want. Okay, uh, 3200 for a, that's not real. You can't get that this morning. Uh, Engelhard bar. Um, Okay, well, somebody played with that one quite a bit. But uh, 3210, about 3110 after rebates. Uh, 3120 after rebates for an Engelhard bar. Kind of beat up, though. And uh, 3211 for the Johnson Matthew. I'd pick this one up. I'd, I don't want to really beat up bar. Um, so, uh, Johnson Matthew bar, beautiful, beautiful bars. Uh, this one is going to be secondary market. Uh, they're just beautiful bars. Thirty-one ten for that out the door, or maybe thirty-one twenty. Okay, so yeah, if you're starting to believe in silver again, believe, believe. All right, yeah, you might pick that up. All right, uh, tubes of peace dollars. I'm going to skip those. I'm going to well, let's see what the platinum Britannia. It ain't going to be cheap. Eleven seventy-five. So you get that for about eleven forty-five this morning, or eleven forty. I like those in the gold category. Random gold gets as cheap as uh, these are all going to be out of stock. Uh, let's see. No. Okay. Hey, we actually got something in stock. Uh, varied condition, one tenth ounce gold. If you think gold is gold, uh, two seventy nine, and then take about uh, seven fifty off. You'd be about two seventy on a one tenth random gold. Any condition, let's keep moving. If you want a one quarter random gold, uh, it's gonna be the panda's still here at 680 minus three percent. Okay, one quarter ounce gold eagle, which I know that's what you want. Uh, can you get that for 709? I doubt it. Oh, this is pickup only. Somebody drive down there to his house. Oh, no, that's not the one. Uh, that looks like a zero feedback seller. Yeah, I forgot about that. 722, will that get you a gold eagle? It sure will from BGASC, 722. Take 20 bucks off with rebates. You'll be at 700 for a one quarter ounce gold eagle this morning. Random year on that. Okay, can I convince you that gold is cheaper on eBay? Let's look at a buffalo. You're going to get a whole big old buffalo for 2712. Is that out of stock? All right, going to wrap it up quick today. Uh, BGASC blowing out their buffaloes, 27.12. Now, with this 3% off is going to be over $80 off. You're going to be at about 26.40. Barring Costco, that's going to be your cheapest buffalo this morning. Yeah, eBay still has some deals here. Um, you know I like the $5 commemoratives. Um, and the pre-33, which some people are buying, can get, go as low as 2618 for a double eagle, Liberty Head double eagle. I would get the St. Gaudens. Okay, uh, there's the uh, Norfeds if you want to check those out. Here's these Engelhard rounds, which we're diving in a little deeper into. Uh, you can get them as cheap this morning for the full one ounce, uh, 3425 Look at that. And how much shipping? $5 shipping. That's going to put you at 39 on that. And he's only got two. I don't know what he did to those pictures there. They're not very good. Uh, yeah, a little toning on that one at 39 So you're going to pay 40 bucks for these Engelhard rounds. But you can find them in your LCS for probably 35 I can't believe these spot prices. I mean, I have to adjust my thinking completely because um, start the starting gate at 31 is just not in my recent memory. I mean... I don't know. We were there before. We were at 30 before, and they bounced it back, and now we made multiple shots at 30. Now we are well over it, and it looks like the crack-up boom is happening. It could be happening, or this could all be a short squeeze, short rally. Man, I don't know. I don't know. But the big sellers, I have not seen the big sellers come back just yet. Somebody is letting silver run. Okay, we got a Platinum Novel at... Uh, let's see, 1125 take about 35 bucks off. And here are our bar. I got some bars in my store. They have been selling. 
Um, what did I do there? Uh, oh, I clicked the wrong link. I'm sorry. Um, all right, I don't know what I'm doing, but check out my store. I got some good deals in there. Ask me for a friend discount. Here's some products you could really use in your stacking journey. If you're just getting started, put that pristine, verified, solid silver in a vacuum seal bag, seal it up, and then stuff it in the ground somewhere with one of these um, uh, safes that you can bury. Okay, if you want to. If you want to melt that silver, here you go. Uh, this is where you can do it. Here's on Amazon. You get 3% off on Amazon when you use the uh, American Express card, by the way, which I do recommend. There's the Amex card is good. There's a PayPal card is good. And picks of the day, I'm not going to go through them, okay? I showed you yesterday, and they probably have not changed all that much. What are these warrior bars going for? My bad decision to buy these, I think. Uh, 178, so you are now going to pay uh, 35, a little over 35 an ounce for these warrior bars. Why can't they sell them? Uh, add to cart, yeah, I still got 100 of them. How hard is it to sell 500 bars? God, I thought that would sell out faster, unless they're lying about that. Okay, ATBs are going for 194 now for the effigy mounds. That is 38 an ounce, and with Eagles going at 35. That makes sense. The Sunshine Mint deal I do like at uh, 33.77 uh, per ounce. You get 10 one ounce bars, but uh, eBay is the place to buy one ounce generic silver this morning. Are you converting it to Silver Eagles? Have you done that yet? Okay, that's what I'm saying. And junk does well in FOMO, so I wouldn't do your junk. I may not do my maples. You might consider other sovereign coins, but I'm really speaking to converting generic, undesirable, you know, whatever you got, uh, kilos, 100-ounce bars, 10-ounce bars, throw those into eagles while the premiums are still reasonable. And, uh, you know, I showed you where you could get them. Yeah, you, you'll, you'll pay an upcharge to do that, but uh, when the FOMO returns, I mean, if we crack 3250, look out. You know what's going to happen if we go over 3250? I can't imagine. And, uh, you know, nine times out of ten, we repel back down. If you're waiting for the dip, then wait for that. But uh, one time out of ten, sometimes we go higher and we don't look back. Just like we did at 22, remember that? We were bouncing around 20 to 22 for the longest time. And then one day, it just never went back there. Okay, that could happen. All right, so I'm not going to do any more of those. Here's the three coin dealers I recommend on YouTube. If you want to support my work, do so at New Retirement or Bolden, which uh, offers a wonderful product for planning your retirement. And there it is. Bolden is the new name with new features and a two-week free trial. And thank you for the cups of coffee. If you just want to tithe back a little bit of coffee, I do enjoy it. I'm just drinking Donut House this morning. I'm going to have my my uh, Hawaiian coffee uh, after after I do this video, uh, which, uh, yeah, it's 4.22 a.m. here. I don't leave until about 6, so I got a little bit of time. All right, and if you want to join my super secret membership club, you can do it right here. Uh, just, uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. This is uh, channel membership. Yeah, and here's how you click to join. You just click that, and you can join the family. Um, that's $4.99 a month. And in your perks, you're going to be able to get my silver bars at 250 over spot. Okay, guys, check that out. People that got those when silver was like 28. Wow, man, boy, did I pick a bad time to give away silver or what? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it there. Thank you for your support and your thumbs up and share to people that don't know where to buy good get good deals. Um, you know, I mean, a lot of people don't know. Uh, where to find the best deals, and I'm totally independent of any bullion dealer. I don't take a penny from them, and uh, that's why I can bring you anywhere on the worldwide interweb to get the best deals, and, uh, you know, so support my work here. I appreciate it. We have a growing channel. We have a growing uh, membership at the website, um, and uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys, so uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.